learn to remember your birthday. See, I can't really hold on to any kind of time-framed information like what year my parents were married or how long you and I have known each other. It's gonna take me a long time to remember your name consistently. So please don't even try to tell me your favorite team or maybe where you lived before here. Sometimes I find myself standing in a place I'm certain I've never been before until the sun rises, reflecting gold through dandelions, making me smile. And yeah, I have smiled here before. See, I hold laughter here, deep in our bellies. I remember that on the winter road trip to Nebraska. Actually, I think that was the summer in Matsutlan. <laughs> Never mind. This is why I take a lot of pictures. This is why I talk a lot with people, why a good night with friends is weaving recollections. Like tongues are yarn, like hugs are knitting, like love is warmth. So when Kim passed, suddenly I'm holding an unraveling quilt where our memories should be. I'm growing desperate, watching the days rip off the calendars 24 hours further from the last time we spoke. I do remember the one time Alicia and I visited Kim at college just to gloat our football team's victory on their turf. I remember laughter. But then my brain kicks in panic, telling me if myself now could have told myself then that I was gonna outlive them both before any of us turned 40. Should I have taken more pictures? Should I have forced those late night conversations? Kimberly K. Jackson was a proud Choctaw and Creek woman. She lived in Muskogee, Oklahoma all her life. She loved her Oklahoma Sooners and George Strait. She played the clarinet and band and that's where we met. I've known her 23 years. Her birthday is January 23rd, 1977. She passed August 6th, 2013. She was 36. I can recite these facts like it's obituary trivia, but I miss memories. I'm gonna go home at the end of September to pay my respects, and when the sun rises, I'm gonna remember. And this time, I promise not to forget.